What's up everybody? Hope you are having a wonderful day. This is Sunny Solanki and in today's video, I'm going to explain how to create a multi-page dashboard web app using Python library Dash and Plotly. Plotly, as many of you would already aware of, is a famous Python data visualization library and Dash is the dashboarding library from the same company that has created Plotly. So before we move on to coding part, first of all, let me show you the dashboard. Right, so as you can see on my screen, I have a sample image of our dashboard open and our dashboard will have a title. So and then there are five buttons. So these five buttons are actually five links to various pages. So when you click on any button, it will go to the particular page and the content below will change based on the different pages. But all the pages will have this title and this links so you can go to any other page. And so first page is introduction page where I describe data set. So I have decided to use a famous uh, Titanic data set. It's a famous machine learning data set and it's readily available from internet. You can download it. It has information about various passengers that were there on the Titanic ship and whether they survived or not. So that's the data set introduction. Second page is a data set page. And on that page, I am dis simply displaying the data set. So you can explore the data set using this page. Over here, there is a button to go to next page. So next page in this uh, data set. So you can explore the various rows of this data set. So that's the second page. Third page is a uh, distribution. So this page simply has a uh, one drop down. From this drop down, you can select the various columns of this data set. And then below the histogram will be created for that particular column. So you can analyze the distribution of that uh, particular feature. Third page is relationship page. So over here, you can explore the relationship between two features of our data set. So there are two drop downs to select X axis column and Y axis column. And based on that selection, the particular scatter chart showing the relationship between that two columns will be created. So that's the fourth page. And fifth and the last page is survived count. So over here, I am displaying the survived counts and the relationship of survival count with other categorical columns. So in this case, I am displaying the relationship between embark. So there were three different locations from where passengers embark as C and Q. So from those different locations, what is the count of the passenger that survived and those that did not survive? So zero is for the passengers that did not survive and one is for those that survived. So this is the dashboard that uh, we are going to create. So let's move on to code explanation part. All right. So as you can see on my screen, I have already started the editor. So I have used a Visual Studio Code editor for coding purpose. And now in order to create a multi page dashboard, you need to follow a particular structure. So first of all, you need to create a project folder, which I have created named multi page dash dashboard. And in that folder, you need to create one main Python file. So this Python file will be the entry point for our dashboard. And we will be running our dashboard uh, using this file. So we will execute this file to start our dashboard. And then there is a folder named pages. So in this folder, we will keep the individual pages of our dashboard. And this file will be actually be a container around the various pages of our dashboard. So let me show you the code of this file. So as you can see uh, over here, I have various imports. So from dash, I imported dash to create app, then HTML and DCC. So HTML is used to create a uh, various HTML tags and dash core component will be used to create various widgets. And then from plotly.express, I have imported a PX. So this will be used to create our charts. First of all, I am simply setting the ggplot to uh, so this is the template and all the charts will be created using this string ggplot2 which is based on a famous data visualization library from R ggplot2. Then over here I am setting external uh, style sheet. So external CSS or style sheet will be used to style the various widgets of our dashboard and it will be also used to create a layout. So that's why I have declared over here and I have decided to use a famous bootstrap uh, CSS. So bootstrap is a very famous front end uh, framework to create various front end layouts and we'll be using it. So over here I have created our dash app as you can see. First I have given the name of the current module 
then pages folder is given over here as pages so if you have declared uh, pages in some different folder name so you can give it over here then i have set use pages to true and external style sheets is set to our bootstrap and then below i have set the layout of this app so this is the important part so this file is a container file in which various pages will be deployed or displayed so as you can see first of all uh, there is a html over here i am first creating a div the main div for our app instead of that first of all there is a title for that div so multi-page dash plot web app so that's a title of our uh, dashboard so it will be displayed on all the pages and over here i have set class name so class name is a parameter which you can set with various string and these strings are available from uh, bootstrap framework so bootstrap framework when you specify x dark as a class in html tag it will set the color of this text to dark then you can center the text you can make it bold and then you can also increase the size so that's what i have done over here because this is the title of our dashboard next to that i have a div where i am displaying link of uh, list of uh, links so over here as you can see i am looping through dash dot pages ht dot value so this will give me list of pages that we have for our dashboard so whatever is there inside of this pages data set distribution intro and so on that will be over here and from that i will simply create a dcc dot link so this will create a link to that page so when you click on that link it will go to that particular page so to link we need to give page name and for href so for a link we can give relative path of that page and over here i am setting class name again to provide a style detail for link so by default this will be displayed as displayed as a blue link but over here i have specified style that display it as a button and button dark and then i have added some margin and so on so this class name and these details are available from bootstrap so yeah so that's a list of links so after header there is a link and then there is a last element which says dash dot page container so this is the container where the individual pages will be displayed so when we click on link particular link the page that will be displayed it will be displayed using this particular tag and then over here i have specified some layout detail again so call it is available from uh, bootstrap so yeah that's the layout detail and then i am simply executing this app so you can execute the app by executing this code app.run so we'll be running this file to start our dashboard right so now that i have explained you the first app or first main page now let's go on to individual pages so first page is intro so where we are displaying the intro of our data sets or intro of our dashboard so over here the first line which will be required in each of the page is you have to register that page so you simply need to call this function dash dot register page over there your first argument is the name of this uh, particular module then path so this is an intro which will be displayed by default at slash part or slash path and then you can give name so i have given name as introduction and you can also include emoji and each of the page will need to specify layout variable and this layout will be displayed over here in this app.py in this dash.page container so that layout will be added over here when you click on the particular page so layout over here is simple i have created a simple div and then i have a list of strings so h2 tag is for a title and then various strings which are explaining this uh, particular data set so that's the intro page let's move on to next page where we were we are displaying the actual data set of our web dashboard so as you can see first of all simply imports over here pandas dash and html and dash table is a sub module available from dash which can be used to display the various tables so first of all again i have registered this page so given the name and then path this time is slash dataset so this is the second page so on this path it will be available 
and the name of this uh, particular page is uh, data set and then emoji over here i am reading our uh, data set titanic.csv i have kept it over here but you can keep it anywhere wherever you want and you need to give the full path in order to read the data set and then again i have declared the layout so layout is nothing but uh, call to dash table dot uh, data table and over here for data i have given our data set and then page size is 20 so it will display 20 rows per page and then some styling detail so style cell can be used to st cell style individual cell of the data table and style header can be used to style headers of the data set so you can provide a css detail that's what i have provided over here background color and border and font color font size and so on so if you have a little bit of a background with css you can provide over here the styling detail that you want to cover so let's move on to next page right so the third page is a distribution page so over here we will be displaying the histogram showing the distribution of individual columns so again i have a few imports over here pandas dash and some standard inputs imports again i have registered this uh, particular page so this page will be registered at path slash distribution so over here i am reading the data set and then i have function so this function creates our histogram for that i have used plotly dot plotly dot express and then histogram function over here i am giving data frame and then column name so whatever column name will come as input to this function for that particular column name histogram will be created and it will be returned and then next i have declared a widget so this is simply a drop down over here and list of columns i have specified so i have not included there are three columns related to text data so i have not included them over here uh, all the columns are continuous or based on uh, integer or float data so over here i have created a drop down and then i have created layout of this particular page so first of all there is a simple uh, text saying select column then dd is then we will display widget and below that we will display our histogram so now in order to link histogram uh, with that particular uh, drop down i have created a callback over here so whenever we change the value of a drop down this particular callback will be executed so as you can see output of this uh, callback is histogram so this id histogram and it's a figure parameter so over here figure will be set and input is uh, this list column which is our drop down and its value so that input value will go over here to this function and it will call create distribution which will take the column name create histogram and return it and that return histogram will be set as a figure parameter of this graph yeah so that's our histogram second page so let's move on to third page so the fourth page is a relationship page so over here we will be displaying the relationship between features through scatter plot so again i have various imports which we are using i have registered this page at uh, slash relationship uh, path reading the data set and over here i have created a function so this function takes uh, two values as input x-axis and y-axis so x-axis column name and y-axis column name and based on that it will create a scatter chart and return it using our titanic data set then i have declared two drop downs and various column names are specified so again i have omitted text data columns over here and then over here i have a layout of our app so it's a simple drop down two drop downs are displayed and below that the chart will be displayed and at last i have a callback so this callback will be executed when you change any drop down value so that's what i am doing over here i am linking this two drop down with this particular scatter figure this graph so each time you change drop down the two drop down value will be uh, come over here and then this function create scatter chart will be called with the current selected values of drop down and it will return a scatter chart that will be set over here in dcc.graph so this will create a scatter chart showing the relationship between two data variables so the fifth and the last page of our dashboard is survive.py 
over here i have created a bar chart which shows the relationship between survived and other categorical column so as usual over here i have imports which we are using then i have registered this page as part survived again i am reading the data set then over here i have created a bar chart so for bar chart i have used a histogram function i am giving over here the titanic df data set x is uh, survived so x axis will be set as survived color will be based on column name so whatever categorical column you select that will based on that color will be there for bar chart and hist function is set to count so we will count the values of uh, other categorical column so that's our chart so this function will return a chart and that we will display in our dashboard next we have a drop down so we have a four different categorical columns other than survived which is p class then sex embarked and cabin so that will be displayed over here in this drop down so that's that drop down and then again i have created a layout for this particular page so it's just simple there is a drop down and then there is a chart and at last uh, we have uh, our callback so this callback will link the drop down to the chart so whenever drop down value change the chart will be created and set over here so that's our final page so now that i have explained you all the pages let's run our dashboard and test it so in order to run the dashboard first of all let me start a new terminal so as you can see i am already there in this part the multi page dash dashboard and over here i simply need to call python and then give the name of the main file which is app.py so executing this line of code will start the server as you can see and i need to go to this url let me go over there yeah and as you can see we have our dashboard ready so for we are there on introduction page i can go to data set and there is a data set over here so you can explore it you can see various pages of this data set the third one is a distribution so we can see the histograms of uh, various columns so fair and then survive then e class let's see embark so this embark is a categorical column so for that the bar chart is created instead of histogram third is a relationship so we can explore the relationship between various columns so currently relationship between age and fair is getting displayed so let's try different columns as you can see as i change different columns over here the chart is changing so you can try many different uh, combinations over here and the last is survived count so over here it's a bar chart so zero is for not survived and one is for survived currently based on a gender so as you can see over here count so 468 male did not survive and uh, 81 female did not survive and 109 male survived and 233 female survived so you can explore with uh, other variables as well for embark so people embarked from as uh, 427 people embarked from location as did not survive so you can see the relationship of uh, this categorical columns with the uh, survived categorical column in this step all right so that's our multi-page uh, dash plotly dashboard web app so i will include link to github location where i have kept the code for this uh, dashboard so you can explore it if you have any doubt or any questions then please feel free to let me know in the comment section and yeah see you next time